Hello friends, welcome to Login Science. I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to solve questions on the Doppler effect from May, June 2021. But before I can start, I want to remind you and encourage you to subscribe to your channel and activate the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post new content for you. Down below is my name and the email address at which you can contact us. If you have a question or anything that you'd like to let us know, feel free to use the email address down below. Okay, let's get started with the question. This is the question. It's question 6 from May, June 2021. Elena in a car moving at constant speed of 10 meters per second along a straight horizontal road records the frequency of sound emitted by a distant stationary source. Delena then repeats the recording of the frequency of the sound when the car travels at a new constant speed of 20 meters per second. The graph below, not drawn to scale, is obtained from the result. Okay, this is the graph obtained from the result. So let's start with 6.1. State the Doppler effect. Okay, 6.1. What is the Doppler effect? You have to state it. Let me get my red pen as we state the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of the sound detected by a listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound propagation. So the Doppler effect is the change in frequency of the sound detected by a listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound propagation. You can read it again over and over until you get it, until you understand it. Okay, if you find this statement complicated, you can give the following, which is in blue so you can also give this one what is the doppler effect the doppler effect is an apparent change in observed frequency as a result of the relative motion between a source and an observer okay let me read that again the doppler effect is an apparent change in observed frequency as a result of the relative motion between a source and an observer. Okay, you have to read the statement over and over until you understand it, until you can remember it. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Let me get the question paper. Okay, this is the question paper. Now it's 6.2. Use the graph to answer the following questions. 6.2.1. Write down the frequency of the sound emitted by the stationary source so you have to write what f s when you look at the vertical axis you have what the recorded frequency and on the horizontal axis you have the speed of the car which is also the speed of the lena because the lena is in a car so the speed of the lena is the same as the speed of the car this will be what your vl and on the vertical axis you have your fl so you have different fl the first one is six 79.1 when the speed is 10 meters per second and you also have a new fl which is 658.2 when you have a new speed of 20 meters per second now the question is asking for what write down the frequency of the sound emitted by the stationary source you have to write down fs but on the graph you are given the values of fl and vl how are you going to get fs Okay, let's see, 6.2, uh, 6.2.1, they want you to give Fs. When using this graph, Fs will be equal to Fl when both the source and the observer are not moving relative to each other. That is, when both are stationary or they both move at the same speed. So when they are both stationary or they move at the same speed, Fs will be equal to Fl. So how can you get FL when using this graph? In this case, you have what? You have the source stationary. Can you see? It says 
by a distant stationary source. So the source is stationary. You don't have to worry about the speed of the source. So you already know that the source is stationary. Now you have to check where the learner being in the car is stationary. And from there, FL will be equal to FS. So you can see you have speed on the horizontal axis. And this is the speed of the learner because the learner is in the car. So the learner is stationary there where the speed is zero. Can you see? The speed of the car is zero. So the listener being the learner or the observer being the learner is stationary day. And when you get this point on the graph, can you see it goes there? So at that point, both the source and the observer are stationary. Or you can say they do not move relative to each other. So what is the value there? Where both the source and the listener are stationary. The value is 700. Can you see? So at this point, both the source and the observer are stationary. You don't need to worry about the speed of the source because the source is stationary. You are told it is stationary. So only the listener being the learner is stationary there. And then you go up there, you see at that point on the graph, both the learner and the source are stationary. And you're going to take the value there. Okay. So FS, let me remove this fs is equal to 700 hertz and what is the reason you asked to give the reason can you see they say give the reason can you see give a reason for the answer can you see give a reason for the answer so the reason will be when both the source and the observer do not move relative to each other that is when they are both stationary or they both move at the same speed. So FS is equal to FL. At that point, FL was 700 and FS will also be 700. What is the next question? Let's see. So the next question is 6.2.2. In which direction is the car moving relative to the source? Relative to the source. Choose from toward or away. Give a reason for the answer. Can you see when the speed of the car is zero, FL is 700 hertz. When the speed of the car is 10 meters per second, FL is what? 679.1. When you have the new speed 20 meters per second, FL is what? 658.2. So you can see what is happening here. The values of FL are decreasing can you see from 700 to 679.1 to 658.2 so in which direction is the car moving relative to the source choose from toward or away what will this be 6.2 it will be away so you know when it's moving away the perceived frequency fl will be lower that is why you have a decreasing fl as the speed of the car is changing so the reason will be there is a decrease in the recorded frequency you can see that on the graph okay now let's move on to the next question i'm going to use the next slide so the next question is 6.2.3 let's see the question so the next question is calculate the speed of sound in a you need to calculate v and you are given some information okay let me keep this here so you need to calculate v can you see the speed of sound in air fs is equal to what to 700 s we got this what from the previous question which is 6.2.1 and you are also given the speed of the source vs is zero because the source is what stationary can you see that stationary source okay and now when you look at the graph here you also have some information here let me get the question here so you are given fl on the vertical axis and vl on the horizontal axis so this is fl when fl is 679.1 vl is 10 meters per second you can see that when fl is equal to 679.1 
VL is equal to 10 meters per second. So when FL is equal to 658.2, VL is what? Can you see on the graph? It's 20. Can you see? It's 20 meters per second. So I'm going to put it in blue. So you have a new set of data. You have the first one in black and you also have a new one in blue. Now let's continue. We want to find what V. Okay. I can close this. So to find V, you are going to need this formula. So which situation you are dealing with? Remember from the previous question, we said that it is what? Away situation. Since the car was moving away from the source. So you have to know how to choose your sign here. So that FL is less than FS because it is away situation. I'm not going to waste time on that. I explained this in another video on the Doppler effect. If you are lost, just check the video and you will be fine. Okay, for now, I will just put my sign there because it is a way situation. I expect FL to be less than FS. Okay, so you are going to have minus at the top and positive at the bottom since it is a way situation so that FL is less than FS. Okay. And now you have two sets of data. You can use the first one in black, this one, or you can use the one in the blue. So I'm going to use the first one, this one, in black. Okay, I have ticked it. I'm going to use the first one. I'll use these values so that I can solve for V. Okay, now you plug in the values. I'm using the first one. So what is FL? FL is this one, 679.1 is equal to you have V there minus VL is what? 10. I'm using the first one. VL is equal to 10 meters per second. Can you see? There is my 10. At the bottom, you have V plus VS. VS is 0. The source is stationary. So there is 0 there. So you have V plus 0 times FS, which is 700. And then you carry on with this. There is equal to. You have at the top. V minus 10 in bracket T times 700. Remember the 700 is over 1. So you have 700 times this V minus 10 day. At the bottom you have V plus 0. So it gives you V. And now you can do cross multiplication. Remember this is over 1. Like this. This is over 1. So now you have 1 times this. What we have at the top here times 1, it will give you this. Can you see? This times 700 times 1, it gives you this. This is equal to what? To this times V. So you are doing cross multiplication like this. This times this and this times this. And this gives you, when you multiply this by V, it gives you this 679.1 V. Okay. And then now you multiply 700 times V. It gives you 700 V. And then 700 times negative 10, it gives you negative 7,000. There, this is equal to what we have there. Okay. And now you take your V, this and this on one side. So you have 700 V there and you bring this together with the 700. So you bring it to the left side. It becomes negative 679.1 V. And you bring this to the right side. So it will be equal to... So what is this equal to? You can use your calculator. Let me use the calculator. So you have 700 minus 679.1. This is equal to 20.9. 20.9. Can you see that? So it's 20.9 V is equal to 7,000. Okay, to solve for V, you divide by 20.9 on both sides. So this side and this side. And this is going to cancel this and this. And now you have V on the left side. So you have V there is equal to, now I need to use my calculator again. Get my calculator. So you have 7,000 
over 20.9 20.9 so this is the value of v can you see it 334.93 let's get the answer to two decimal place okay so this is the answer to v the speed of sound okay i'm done with question six from may june 2021 on the doppler effect this is all i hope it was helpful if you find value in the video please show that by putting your comment your likes and subscribe to your channel if you haven't activate the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post new content for you see you next time and take care